side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for him. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, effective strike there by Choi. Just misses there with the left. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Felder. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Connects with the right. Misses with that punch. Right hand on point. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nicely done defensively to avoid the double leg takedown there. And they separate. Big punch lands through the middle. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just missed with the left there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate up there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Right punches there. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Short. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Here's the kick blocked by Choi. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand punch from the clinch. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Throws the right hand there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Felder's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big ball from Swept's land. Now he gets back to range. Kick to the body by Felder. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. The Korean right, so Super now here on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a pro 
will backfire and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the Godfather would be proud. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. by Choi. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Single collar tie now. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one? It's gonna break it. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop the stop. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Punch is blocked. Felder's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good stick. Whiffs on the right hand. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Nice combination of kicks there by Felder. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? He lands a big knee to the body. Great punch. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Pretty good right hand. Ooh, big shot land. Leg kick. Back and forth we go. Wow, actually got the takedown. Under a minute now to go. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh! at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice. Nice. Punch coming, it's blocked. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Felton. Oh, nice job by him there to move it to half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Nice punch there. Come on, let me see that right now. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Felder. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Looks phenomenal tonight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big body kick. Use your right. Just misses with the punch by Choi. Oh, he's going. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice punch by Felder. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Lance with a right hand. That's what I'm talking about. Keep doing it again. Do it again. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Way to hide that leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Wow, 
that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Great punch landed with so much power. Follows it up with a nice combination. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Effective punch there by Felder. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big head kick lands. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Choi. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just out of range with that left hook. Final seconds of round three. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging great punches. Fight. Great strike great. landed, great Go. punch landed to put his opponent down. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice right hand. the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Felder gets caught with that punch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And he landed the right hand there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Hammer fist here by Short. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. 
Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Fighters back to their feet here. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds at round number four. Preparing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. And there is the man of the moment and